All right, got the old one out. I'm gonna do a comparison. Got the old one and the new one. But before I do the full comparison of the two, you can already kind of tell. Let me back up a little bit. Let me wipe that camera too, guys. Hold on. Good. All right, 4K, not yet, but it's okay. All right, so that's where the calcium was leaking out everywhere. And this old one, the housing is done. Yeah, new one. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. All the seams clear. No build up. No build up. No green glue. No none of that. Just brand new. Now, this is what it looks like when it's out. Unfortunately, I have some kind of build up. Someone might have stuffed in there. I'm not sure how that got in there. What's up? They didn't sell you another gasket. Huh? You need another gasket. What you mean? Uh, right here. It's a gasket for that. Is it? Yes. Ain't no gasket go down. Ouch. Yeah, look at it. You see right there, touch where it was at. You can feel where the old one was. It's an old ring right here. That was touching it. That's a gasket. Oh, that is. Ooh. Yeah. That bit fucked up. They built it in. Yeah. That one ain't like this oh, one. Oh, it was built in. It was too, like that. So right. You the gas can ain't no. What? Need, uh, blade. You need to take that off. What off? That old. Oh, that build up. Yeah, it won't yeah, sell. It, it won't, won't sell. sell. Yeah, we got to. That's another yeah, thing, guys. Excuse the, you know, we got a politic here. That's but, uh, yeah, we're going to clean up this build up here so that way we get a firm seal. Um, hey, you think I should clean up? I'm, I'm going to clean it up. That, that stuff that's in here? The little paper and freaking. Uh, not right now. Yeah, cause that that's open. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got you. We gotta cover that before I take out all this stuff. I don't know how that got in there, man. Like I said, I bought this car used, but nonetheless, it's been holding up pretty well for the past few months. Just been changing everything. So far, I've done the coil pack. That was pretty good. I should have did a video on that if ever. So any new spark plugs, I would definitely do another video on that I had to take the air box off too we're just waiting on a blade you got a blade if not i think i got one in the car i'm show you guys the inside i guess as well too trusted blade there it is can't go wrong with the trusted blade all right yeah snap on you scrape that old shit off there get it straight with that all right so not to get none of that shit in the hole so what we're gonna do is get all of this black gunk off of it so we get a firm connection and we got to be very careful careful not to uh get any of it inside of the uh motor so focus 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 there we go let's get that as clean out that's pretty hot still get that as clean as possible See how it's coming? Yeah, that's what you wanted to that bare mm -hmm. metal color. Oh yeah, all that shit too. What I'm gonna do is get a napkin of some sort. Cause that's some water, but I'm gonna keep scraping. But that water, I want to get out of there too. Oh no, don't worry, we got that. All right probably gonna speed this part up once I edit the video from the point of me stating that I'm gonna speed it up so that way it makes sense after it speeds up. Alright, 
ducks to be getting there. Getting that gunk off of there. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, that's my mechanical instructor. PC has decided to help me work on this bad boy. And I thought that was pretty, pretty noble of him. Ugh. I wanna get it as clear as I can. And it was like, it'd have been quicker with a wire brush, but you know, I'm starting out, yeah, you know, I just thought of it myself. So, that will be something I'll be keeping on hand for future videos. And I'm getting a little bit in there. I definitely want to be a little bit more careful. Not to dig too deep either. I'm going to set this here down while I continue to clean it. All right, now we're gonna put the new one in here. I'm gonna show you guys when we put it in that ship. We put the uh, gasket thing maker on there. No, it's gasket. It's gasket on there. Yeah, I'm just gonna be careful with this sensor to put it in there. Probably gonna want us to come this way and then turn it. There we go. Oh. Hmm. All right. There we go. Shimmy this in this here. I know it's not gonna go all the way on there, but I wanna at least get this over where this is supposed to be right there. Now that we got the new one in there, we're gonna put those bolts back in there. Now, I might need that knife to go around a thread. What you think? Might be good. All that calcium build up. I lost, like I told him, man PC here. What's going on? My instructor helping me out here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Get off me. <laughs> and we're gonna get these uh, threads built up here. Put this new puppy in there. Like I said, we were having slight leakage, uh, steady leakage, I should say. So more than, I'm definitely gonna be replacing this 
So that's a video coming soon as well. Uh, another video is gonna be me spraying the motor down and getting that glossy. Um, put new terminals on the battery. Thinking about putting the other one on. Uh, check this out, PC. Yesterday, yesterday when I got in the car, I started to crank it. I uh, didn't have any connection on this end. Loosening it, this broke. This uh, bolt uh, broke in half. So I had to run the auto zone before. It, I mean, auto placing uh, before it closed. Yeah. But I got two of these. One's red, and the other one's black. I'm thinking about putting the um, other one on there. But I'm maybe going to get a bigger battery too. And new struts are coming soon too, guys. Be ready for that. Lots of lot of lots of videos coming for my baby. Headlight changes, everything. Side marker changes. Motor swap. I'm scared about the motor swap, guys. I ain't gonna lie. 5.0 ain't no joke. I'll take care of the other ones. I just want to stabilize it. All right, guys. I doubt you can really see, but it's okay. Want to help me with that PC? Sometimes this thermostat, the thermostat being uh, directly inside of the housing is a hard way to go. Because you got to take that whole thing off. Oh, I got to take that whole thing off. Yeah. And, and replace the whole thing. I mean, technically, you can come out of the, the thermostat, but it'd just be too much work. That's why they bought the whole thing. Yeah, I might not replace the entire housing with, with something like that. Especially when the housing is plastic. Right. All right, guys. Clean as if it's gonna get as of right now. Like Never point that knife towards my face. <laughs> <laughs> It's looking different shortly. Like I said, we don't got no wire brush right now, so using my trusted snap on knife just to get some of that extra dust and metal and corrosion. Base looking good. We're um, sliding this through the threads. I wonder does this knife sharpen the blade? Sharpen the blade? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> they say steel sharpen steel. Yeah, they do say steel sharpen steel. So someone leave that in the comment for me. Is this sharpening my blade, or is it not doing too much or nothing? Is it dulling? If you have to shake it more than once, you're playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just a stud, you good. Hmm? That's just a stud, you good with that part. Yeah. Right. What's that fuel line bolt? You don't have to go under that line. Yeah, drop it in and then. Uh, 
I'm gonna get you a swivel. Push him back a little bit. Sometimes two hands can be better than one, but yeah, it's proven. Another thing with this gut cap thing, what's looking for? V516, 516 cent extension. I did they connect this one? Let's go raw pan first. Oh, trip. <laughs> Put it right in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you need. You don't need the extension. Yeah. The last trouble ball. Yeah. Now you gonna what you gonna do is you gonna push that that cord back with just the tool, and it'll snap on. Very important to have tools that are weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's getting tighter. I can't really. Yeah. I need to get a strong couple on there. Because remember, that's water pass through that. We want to get those as tight as we can. Very important not to have on jewelry that you care about. <laughs> the mama bought me this chain. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna cry in the car. Oh, <laughs> right.
Yeah, let me get them off of you. Let me get them off of you. Tell them all right, the instructor. Whew. Very good to stay hydrated too, guys. <laughs> From all the weather, boy. So where are we at? About 24, going on 25 minutes now. Probably like a, I would say in total, maybe like a good 30, 45 minute drop for a rookie, like myself. I think when I'm back on my right. I was gonna do that middle one and I'll under that manifold first. That one easy. I can go straight up with that one. Yeah, I wanna get that one in the That's the thing when it get tight. It was loose because that, that back end got tight. It has some tension. All right, guys, we're learning. It's pretty hot out here, but we're going to get it done in a memorable way. A lot of sweating and whining, <laughs> and possibly a heat stroke. I don't wish that on myself. Mr. Master. All right. Last bolt. Last bolt, guys. Ah, that one. Work smarter, not harder. Very important. Get quick hand tight. Yeah. And we're back at it. That and once this tightens, we gotta go back over the other one. <laughs> the last boat. Well, Tell me, man, you, gotta, you fight with that shit. With the... And then push that, yeah, push that, push that what's laying back with that tool. Mm -hmm. Push it back till you get all the way on that bitch. Mm. There you go.
You good. You good. You good.